So, we both messed up. You haven't revised for your exams, and I've broken my hand. So the question is, what the hell on earth do we do from here? All right, so I'm gonna give you some no BS advice right now on what you need to do to salvage your exams, or in my case, salvage my hand. So the first thing you need to realize is stop wasting time doing the following. Going to school, number two, doing content, looking at notes, watching videos, stop wasting time doing all of this. What are you gonna do? Now, if you watched any of my other videos, you might think I'm gonna say do papers. No, you say what? I want you to open the paper and I want you to open the mark scheme. And I want you to learn the mark scheme answer for every single question that exists under the sun. To be clear, you're not physically answering them. You're just thinking in your head, do you know the logical solution? And you have the mark scheme open right next to you. And if you know the exact solution, then you skip it. Don't bother doing it at all. If not, you're gonna write down the explanation on a cheat sheet. I'm gonna cut away here and explaining to you how to make a cheat sheet. All right, so you're going through a past paper and you got a question like this, which you're like, how do I answer this? The first thing is you learn how to answer it, either through the mark scheme, or if not, ask someone to save you time. So in this case, what is perimeter? Perimeter is all of the outside lengths added together, right? So here you've got the vertical length, you've got the horizontal length, and you've got the curved bit. So we need to work them out individually and add them up. And once we've done that, Bob's your uncle. So the first thing we need to know is perimeter is the summation of these individual lengths. Now, what we do is we start breaking these down and working them out. So horizontal length and the vertical length, if you notice, is just from one corner of the circle to the middle. And that signifies to us that this must be the radius because the radius is the same all around the circle from the center. So this is a circle fact that you meant to know. From the center of the circle to any corner of a circle will always be the same length. So in this case, that is gonna be half of the diameter. Now the diameter is the length from one side of the circle to the other. The formula is diameter equals two times r. So the radius for this question is 120 divided by two, which is the diameter divided by two, which equals 60 meters. So horizontal and vertical length is 60 meters each. Using our circle knowledge, the curved bit is simply a quarter of the total length of a full circle. So a full circle's length all the way around is called a circumference. So a quarter of the circumference is the value of the curved bit. Circumference is two pi r. So the curved bit is half pi r, the vertical bit is 60, and the horizontal bit is 60. That would give you the total answer. In your cheat sheet, you might write the total perimeter equals the individual lengths on the outside of the shape added up. And to work these individual shapes out, we also need to add to our cheat sheet some knowledge of circles. So that is diameter is two times the radius and the circumference is two pi r. And that's it, these three pieces would be sufficient for you to put down in your cheat sheet. Now, you see there are a lot more things that actually are required to answer the question in this specific case, but the general principles are what you learn in a cheat sheet. Back to the video. So we're back, once we've got the cheat sheet, we are gonna now commit this to memory. And you're gonna do this for every single question on every single paper that's ever existed. I just need that promise from you. And the reason for that is first, you know, you're actually extracting information from your brain and that's active recall. Secondly, we ain't got time to do the papers now. Let's be real. Just like my hand's probably never gonna be fully flexible again. I'm probably gonna get arthritis. There is this principle called Pareto principle where 20% of the work that you do leads to 80% of the results. And that is what we're doing here. This work that we're doing is gonna get you most of the way there each paper, you're gonna learn your mistakes and when you walk into that exam, you know the answer to every single question that's ever come up. I'm afraid to tell you, five years of your life that you spent towards your GCSEs or two years of your life towards your A-levels have been a lie because all you really need to do is pattern recognition. So if we can focus on that, we can maybe save the day. Believe in yourself, 
and let's do this. Oh, by the way, before we finish off, I've done this myself. I was one of those guys like you who is watching this video. I remember getting used all throughout my exams with one week to go. I pulled out A stars. I'm so serious. I don't even need you to subscribe, but if you want to, I'm not going to stop you.